A.D. 2064. Planet Earth was on the brink of destruction. The dire situation forced the two opposing factions to negotiate a ceasefire, reaching an agreement in only two weeks. However, the war may have ended, but its effects remained. With the deteriorating environment, Earth's population was drastically reduced. Those who survived the conflict lived a confined existence, trapped in underground cities. Countries joined together to form the Greater United Nations and turn their eyes skyward to space. This moon base will be the start of our travels. <laughs> I bet they're rehashing all this stuff at the ceremony. <laughs> all right, guess I better be going. I knew you'd be here. Boy, I just can't get away from you, can I, Raimi? How long do you think we've known each other? I know all your hiding places, Edge. Yeah, you've been hanging on to me for as long as I can remember. Remember how you'd always cry when I wasn't around? Sure took the fun out of playing hide-and-seek with you. Th that was ages ago! How long are you going to keep treating me like a child? As long as you're so quick to flare up like that, I guess. Uh... If you're here, I guess the departure ceremony's over, huh? Anyway, there's still some time left until we take off. I'm gonna work out a few kinks in the battle simulator. Uh, sure. Hey, wait a second! You skipped the ceremony on purpose, didn't you? Yeah, well... I thought I was gonna be able to meet a real hero. I might have gone if Commander Kenny was there. But Shimada's pontificating would just put me to sleep. That's USTA Deputy Director Shimada to you. Besides, I didn't want to see Crow gloating over his success anyway. It just really bugs me. And you call me childish. You just better not be late for launch preparations, you hear?
SRF 001 through 004, commencing auxiliary engine power adjustment. Third you imbeciles! Complete. Are you trying to make me look bad? Activation. Sir, we're terribly sorry, sir. It won't Ready happen again. Please accept our most sincere apologies. Moon Base Commander Stephen D. Kenny, reporting from Earth, sir. Ha! A rather leisurely return for the great Earth hero, Lightspeed Kenny, wouldn't you say? It hardly bodes well for the commander of such an important mission to miss his own departure ceremony. My apologies, Deputy Director Shimada. Truly, I am blessed with a superior of vast kindness and understanding to have been assigned trivial duties at a time like this. Hmm. Very well. I leave the rest to you. I'm exhausted, Commander. I had to oversee the ceremony in your place, you know. In any case, the guests seemed pleased. It made for a fine dawn to the age of space exploration. <laughs> a number of governmental officials were expected to attend the ceremony, sir. The presence of the commander would have just been a distraction. I'm sure that was his concern. It doesn't matter. The ceremony is just a formality anyway. We'll celebrate their departure from here. Yes, their departure. Huh? What's that? Woo! Ah! Gotcha! Hey there, kid. It's nice to meet ya. You're Edge, right? Of course you are. You don't have to tell me. Anyway, greetings from USTA headquarters! Little old me, the name's Welch. As you can see, I'm a bashful little girl. I'll be the one supporting you from Earth, okay? Be fun. Looking forward to working with ya. Cheers. Uh. What is it, Edge? What's with that look on your face? Oh, you don't mind if I use your first name? Nah, of course you don't. No, I uh. Boy, is this one indecisive or what? Yeesh. Hey, you need a good poke in the eyes. Is that it? Come here. Poke, poke. Hey, hold up a sec. Ugh, oh, man. I heard each ship would be getting support from Earth. But I never imagined anything like this. Haha, <laughs> didn't think your support would be so cute, did you? Anyway, from here on out, I got your back, man. Straight to the fiery depths of hell! Uh, that's really not the kind of thing I want to be hearing before takeoff. Oh, relax, you'll be fine. Let's see now, your first destination is... Planet Eos, right? Fortunately, the unmanned exploration craft didn't report anything dangerous out there, like giant outer space bugs or whatever. So yeah, no worries. Go for broke, Edge. <laughs> <sighs> Is this the kind of support we're to expect, ma'am? Ma'am? What am I, your mother? We're gonna be together for a while, kid, so let's dispense with the formalities. <sighs> ah, looks like...
like you got another call. Oh well, enough lovers patter for now. Talk to you later. Yo, Edge. Edge, hey! Don't just cut the transmission like that! This channel is not for communication with the captain of the Kalnis, sir. Or is there something a common crew member can do for you? Captain Crow F. Almedio of the SRF-001 Aquila? Pretending to be all dutiful doesn't suit you, Edge. You skipped the departure ceremony, didn't you? Who cares? It's got nothing to do with you. Raimi was upset. You really can be a pain sometimes, you know that? You done? Look, just don't be too hard on her, okay? Seeing the two of you fight makes your big bro so sad. We're not actually fighting, and would you quit with the theatrics already? It's really irritating. Yeah, yeah. Hey, come on, Edge. Does it really bug you that much that I made, Captain? <sighs> Actually, no, it doesn't. In fact, I think it's only natural you were promoted. It's just... <sighs> you're getting so far ahead of me. You really haven't changed at all. Still the same kid you were back in school and at the academy. <sighs> I'm not as far ahead as you might think. There's no need for you to rush yourself. Goodbye. Wait a second! Edge, you realize just how important our duties are with the SRF, don't you? Everyone shares the same responsibility, captain or not. Look, we're all in the same boat here. I'm just as nervous as you are. Captain Almedio nervous? <laughs> what, we expecting meteor showers tomorrow? This isn't a joke. Look, Edge, how should I put this? Let's both give it our all, huh? Yeah, let's. Great. Well, that's all I got for now. Looks like it's almost time. Bon voyage! Bon voyage? We're going to the same place. Oh well. I suppose I can't stay mad forever. All right then, let's get the show on the road. All hands in position. SRF-003 Kalnis. Initiate launch procedures. Roger. Roger. So, this is it. Indeed it is. We've charged these children with the future of our species. Let us salute the departure of our seeds of hope. Zero, zero, 001, Aquila, launch preparations complete. Zero, zero, 002, Belena to follow. You've all been trained well. Keep a steady hand and perform as you always have. The time to step forward is upon us. Brave pioneers charged with the destiny of mankind about to depart for space unknown. I pray for the success of your journey. Aquila, launch confirmed. Zero, zero, 002, Belena, preparing to launch. Zero, zero, 002, Belena, launch confirmed. SRF-003, Kalnis, engage! 
Yes, sir. Initiating launch. One hundred twenty seconds to warp out. Gravity balance, ship functions, all normal. Prepare for warp out. Finally, Eos. And I'm gonna be the first to take that one small step onto the surface. <laughs> you really are just a big kid, Edge. Hey, it's a big deal for a guy, all right? An honor. Edge, be careful to keep the ship stable when we warp out. Yeah, just ignore me, why don't you? I'm getting a gravity reading. There's a meteor-like object crossing our planned trajectory. But from this distance, I can't confirm any gravity wave interference. Meteor? The unidentified object has passed us. I'm detecting some minor fluctuations in the gravitational field. A meteor affecting our gravitational field? Isn't that strange? Yeah. Kelnus, commencing warp out. Ten seconds to warp out. What's going on? Status report! There's a fluctuation inside our wormhole, sir! An abnormal gravity wave is spreading fast! It's producing an error in our subspace flight tracer! Too late! We can't avoid it! What? Captain, interference from the gravity wave is spreading throughout the wormhole! And our planned warp out point has disappeared! We're gonna lose our navigational coordinates! Damn! What about the other four ships? No idea, sir! I'm not detecting them in subspace! Input a new coordinate axis. We've got to initiate an emergency warp out. Raimi, I'll handle three, five, and nine. You take the rest. Coordinate axis input complete. Warp out preparations complete. Edge! Everything's ready. Captain! Emergency warp out. All hands, brace for impact.
Damn. Oh. Did we uh, crash land? Where are we? Raimi? Raimi! <sighs> Raimi, wake up! Edge? Thank God we're all safe. At least no one's critically wounded. Let's be grateful for small mercies. I'm issuing new directives. Status report. Damage to the ship is severe. The Kalnus is in very serious condition, sir. However, based on my analysis of the data, I can say with confidence that we've arrived on planet Eos. All right, we made it after yeah. all! Please, continue. We're not the only ones who crash-landed, sir. I've detected other ships in the vicinity that probably encountered the warp anomaly. The Kalnus is here. Here's the Belena and Dante de Leon, and the Aramia. First, let's join the Belena and Dante de Leon crews. Once we're back in operating condition, we'll request further instructions from USTA headquarters. Any questions? Captain, what do you think happened to the Aquila? <sighs> it appears the Aquila attempted an emergency warp out as well, but I'm afraid that's the only information we currently have. Well, there's your answer on the Aquila. It concerns me, but there's nothing we can do right now. We have to concentrate on the task in front of us. The repair crew should prioritize subspace communication functions. We can't do anything without comms. I need those repairs completed double time, understood? Yes, sir. Mr. Maverick. Sir. I'd like you to scout the area around the ship and make sure we're safe here. Yes, sir.
The Kalnus actually held up pretty good, huh? Yeah. Edge, do you think Krill is okay? I do. He's not the type to let something like this do him in. <laughs> yeah, you're right. I'm sure he's fine. Anyway, how are things looking out here? 
It's just like the exploration craft reported. The environment on this continent seems perfectly suitable for human habitation. There's lots of primitive gymnospermae like these ferns and cycads. The climate is subtropical and... Well, to put it in Earth terms... It's a lot like the Jurassic period. The Jurassic? Think we'll run into any dinosaurs? Come on. The exploration report didn't say anything about any large-scale life forms. Raimi! What? <laughs> What is that thing? Some kind of bug? No way. What is it? Hey, attack already. Oh. Oh. Uh, oh. Stay back. Let's go. Ah! Stay back. Get away. Just don't. No. Railguns have no effect? Did that work? Good. So they're not totally invincible. And that means I can do this! Bring it on! We're just getting started! Come on, let's do this! Now you'll see what I'm made of! How long do you plan on staying mad? You big jerk. I said not to do anything stupid. I'm not letting you off of this. <sighs> That's what I've been trying to explain, sir. We never heard about any dangerous life forms here. Securing a safe environment and eliminating threats to colonization. These are part of the SRF's duties as well, are they not? At this point, we have no choice but to request aid from the military and strengthen Don't be our... ridiculous! Do you think I'd let those blockheads meddle in this? 
People are dying here! Edge! What we need here are results. Danger, sacrifice, it's all part of the process. In any case, I don't have time to sit here listening to your petty complaints. Of course, I'd hate to be thought of as a cold-hearted superior who's all talk. So I've already contacted them for you. Them? You don't mean the- You'll be receiving their assistance shortly. Until then, I expect you to follow standard SRF operating procedure, over and out. Them? Who's them? Hmm. I'll explain everything in due time. For now, well done, Mr. Maverick. You're the only man who wasn't seriously injured by that creature. Thank you, sir. It was just luck. May I ask if we've been able to contact the other ships yet? I'm sorry to say the Aquila remains a question mark. Sir, what about the Aramia? We know it's here on Eos. <sighs> we lost the Aramia's tracer signal earlier. It vanished. Vanished? <laughs> but you don't think... The possibility certainly exists, but let's not jump to conclusions yet. First, we must discover what became of the Aramia. Mr. Maverick, I'd like you to search for the Aramia. Me? Sir? It will undoubtedly be dangerous, but at this point... Edge. Understood. Edge Maverick, reporting for reconnaissance duty. Why did you accept such a dangerous assignment so quickly? And now you say you're going out there alone? Come on, Edge. That's just reckless. I can't just leave our people alone out there. <sighs> I have to get going, Raimi. Yeah, let's. Yeah. Wait, what? Where do you think you're going? I'm coming with you. And before you ask, yes, I already have Captain Grafton's leave. Are you kidding? You were just going on about how dangerous it is. And that's why I'm coming. To make sure you don't do anything else stupid. What? That has been known to happen? I said I wasn't letting you off, remember? What exactly do you think you're going to do if we have to fight another one of those bug things? I'll be able to hold my own as long as I have this. So, you think that'll do the trick, huh? Well... I guess you were at the top of your archery class. <sighs> All right. I'm counting on you, partner. That's more like it. That's where the Aramia is! Let's go. We can use this. Well... Not bad. I said I was counting on you, didn't I? <laughs> Just keep your cool. Come on, Yeah! 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 Wonderful. I'm so glad everyone's safe. 
I must become stronger!
time to Let's do this! Just keep yeah. it cool and we'll be fine. Oh. Yeah. 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 